the trachea at the level of T5 at the level of T5 divides into two bronchi the trachea divides into two primary bronchi this is the right primary bronchus this is the left primary bronchus each of the primary bronchus enters into lungs there are only two primary bronchi now if you observe the lungs see primary bronchus on the right side on the right side on the left side the right primary bronchus is only 2 and 1/2 cm in length whereas left primary bronchus is 5 cm this is the left left to the subject so this is the left primary bronchus this is the right primary bronchus the right primary bronchus is short 2 and 1/2 cm the left primary bronchus is longer it is 5 cm this is narrow this is wider and this is more straight you can see that it's it's more straight like that is more straight this is more oblique the difference between the right and left primary bronchus the right primary bronchus is short 2 and 1/2 cm wide and less oblique the left primary bronchus is more oblique longer 5 cm and slightly narrow at the region of hilum that area is hilum a depression through which primary bronchus enters is called hilum through hilum arteries veins lymph vessels nerves and primary bronchus all these are entering and coming out blood vessels arteries veins lymph vessels nerves and primary bronchus all these are entering through hilum into the lungs now after entering into the lungs the primary bronchi so that is the primary bronchi the primary bronchi divides into secondary bronchi now the number of secondary bronchi depends upon the number of lobes so we have got three lobes on the right lung and two lobes on the left lung on the left lung we have got two lobes on the right lung we have got three lobes so each primary bronchus will divide into three on the right side will divide into two on the left side so you can call that secondary bronchi primary bronchi gives rise to secondary bronchi the secondary bronchi are also called as lobar bronchi lobar bronchi it is called lobar bronchi because each of that secondary bronchi goes to one lobe of the lung that's why it's called lobar bronchi now again the secondary bronchi divides into tertiary bronchi the secondary bronchi it divides into tertiary bronchi now i am taking on the right side this is the primary bronchus so these two are secondary bronchi right mm. now each tertiary bronchi goes to one bronchopulmonary segment we use the term bronchopulmonary segment what does that mean see for example this is one lobe one lobe i am taking inside you can see areas you can again find smaller lobes eh? you can see smaller lobes here they are separated by connective tissue each of this smaller lobe is called as bronchopulmonary segment a bronchopulmonary segment is a area of lung 
which is anatomically separate from other other bronchopulmonary segment because it is separated from separated by a connective tissue and each of this is se separately supplied blood by a different artery a bronchopulmonary segment is a segment of lung which is separated from other segments by connective tissue and individually it is supplied blood by a different artery now this is supplied blood by one artery this is supplied blood by another artery and this is supplied blood by different artery now supposing if one of that pul pulmonary segment bronchopulmonary segment is diseased so you can remove that segment so without much problem you can remove that that segment right so as many number of bronchopulmonary segments so many will be the number of tertiary bronchi so you can see 3 2 5 in the upper lobe you will see three bronchopulmonary segments in the middle lobe there are two and in the inferior lobe we have five so totally five plus two plus three is totally ten so number of tertiary bronchi also will be ten in number so they are also called as segmental bronchi they are called segmental bronchi because they are each of the tertiary bronchi is going to one bronchopulmonary segment so we have 3 plus 2 plus 5 on the right side on the left side we have 4 plus 4 we have got only two lobes upper lobe 4 lower lobe 4 totally 8 so we have got 10 and 8 primary bronchi there are only two at all but secondary bronchi on the right side we have three on the left side we have two so trachea at the level of t5 it has divided and formed two primary bronchi each primary bronchus at the hilum region has entered into a lung along with blood vessels lymph vessels nerves entered in lung and all further further division of that bronchi will occur inside the lung only now primary bronchi divides into secondary bronchi secondary bronchi divides into tertiary bronchi secondary bronchi on the right side there will be three secondary bronchi on the left side there are two secondary bronchi based on number of loops so that's why i call lobar bronchi and then each secondary bronchi further divides into tertiary bronchi tertiary bronchi also called segmental bronchi because each tertiary bronchus will go to a bronchopulmonary segment there are 10 on the right side there are 8 on the left side 4 plus 4 3 plus 2 plus 5 on the right side like trachea bronchi also internally is lined by pseudostratified ciliated epithelium there is not much difference between the structure of trachea and bronchi in trachea it is supported by c-shaped cartilaginous rings in case of bronchi also internally it is supported by c-shaped cartilaginous rings internally in the wall internally there is pseudo stratified epithelium above that we have hyaline cartilaginous c-shaped cartilaginous rings and smooth muscles externally aerial or connective so structure of trachea and bronchi there is not much difference between the two.